Okay, hi everybody, I'm Danielle McCarty with Mike Torres, f famous for the 1977 World Series in New York Yankees. Uh, we're here for Joe Qualiano, Min Pros, with all the 1977 guys. What's it like to be back with these guys? Well, it's always great. It's great to see the guys, you know, we played with uh, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's always great, you know, uh, seeing and laughing, bringing back a lot of memories, you know, from that year. And uh, it's just a, it's a fabulous thing just to be around the guys again for a day, you know, yeah. even for a couple hours. So have you, do you keep in touch with the guys or? Well, you know, most of the guys are all around right. uh, the country. Uh, I think I'm living in Florida now. Uh, some of the guys live here. Roy White lives in Jersey. Uh, Nettles, uh, Greg Nettles lives south from here. The guys are all spread out. Yeah. So um, as far as the only time we see them is usually for the Old Timers Day game or for the fantasy camps that yeah. we have down in November and January in Florida. Yeah, I want to do one of those. They have well, the women's camps. That'd should. be cool. Look like you'd be great at it. I think I have short style. They have a ladies. Yeah, I know they, they do. Yeah. Ladies league. Uh, they yeah. Play for four days and they really enjoy it. I don't know if I can get off of work, but yeah, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. Um, so 1977 Yankees beat the Dodgers. I got to ask you because you are a special story. You win the World Series with the Yankees in '77. And then you go to the Boston Red Sox, and then that's where Bucky Dent's famous nickname came from. Yeah. Home run <laughs> off of you. <laughs> yeah, in the playoff game, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, did you know it was gone as soon as he hit it? No, I thought it was just a fly ball. It was, uh, if he wouldn't have used that cork bat like I always get on him, <laughs> uh, it, it, it wouldn't have gone out of the stadium. But uh, since he had all that extra electricity, it yeah. made the ball jump out. He said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a bitter, bitter rivalry at the time because the Red Sox had just won too, oh, yeah. right? What was that like for the switch for you to go from Yankees to Sox? Well, I mean, I did want to leave the Yankees, but at the time I think they only offered me like a three, four year contract. Where Boston came and offered me a seven year guaranteed contract. So I mean, like, you know, yeah, what, what do you wait? What do you wait? What do you wait from here to here? Yeah. So I went to Boston, and uh, by then, you know, I. I was winning a lot of games. Uh, every year I won 17, 18, 20 games uh, in the big leagues and it um, seemed like I'd get traded. And I just wanted to get settled somewhere. Right. Be, so I, after every year I went 16, 17, 20 games, I got traded. It was like, ah, man, I'd like to settle down somewhere. Right. And that's why I went to Boston. Yeah, and you had a successful career there too? Yeah, oh yeah. I'd say. Yeah, so <laughs> I was happy and, you know, uh, had a lot of fun. And, uh, great rivalry with the, against each other. You know, right. you can see it and you can feel it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, uh, during those years in the Yankee years, the 77, 78, you know, well, you weren't here in 70, but, uh, you know, the Son of Sam, the blackouts, the fires, mm -hmm. it was an unsettled time here, especially here in the Bronx. Right. What was that like playing during that time? Well, it was great playing because we didn't get to read anything. You know, they weren't writing all negative. <laughs> the papers were on strike, I think, yeah. at the time. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff going on in our clubhouse. That, you know, uh, a lot of craziness, if I could say, that uh, everybody, every time you did read something, uh, George was mad at Billy, Billy was mad at, at Reggie, Reggie was mad at Billy, and it just went in a circle. <laughs> so it was a crazy year, but, uh, you know, once we crossed the white lines, we came to play, and yeah. we had a very, a very good team, a sound team, and when everybody uh, was out in the field, and uh, it, great bunch of guys you know that year. Was it ever a time in the clubhouse where you were like oh my god this is bad this is really bad? No I came from a bad clubhouse in Oakland where Charlie Finley in that clubhouse was even crazier than we were in Oakland. <laughs> they just didn't write about it but Charlie Finley was a oh he was a heck of an owner I and mean, he was even crazier you know as one of the owners that I had ever played for. Yeah. And, uh, he hit and he was funny he was really a funny guy but uh, the clubhouse was in disarray with the A's back then. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> it's like uh, it, no one's crazier than George, huh? Right. Uh, <laughs> but he could. He no, could. He was George is, uh, you know, he paid a lot of money to get the guys yeah. to win. He's, I love playing for him because he's got great talent, you know. And I uh, was happy that I was part of that, that team. And your favorite Yankee memory was? Winning the playoff game in Kansas City. If we don't win the playoff game in Kansas City, we never get into the World Series. Right. I came in in relief for about six innings, six and a third, six wow. and two thirds, shut down Kansas City because they were already four to nothing. Right. They were beating us four to nothing already when I came in. Right. If I don't haul them, we never got into the World Series. Six innings of relief, did you hear that? <laughs> it's good. Yeah.
Alright, well, I'm Daniel McCartan, Mike Torres. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks.